Hello and welcome to Jiree Nation. I'm Will Hampton along with Coach and VP Squared, Joe Patterson. How are you doing, Coach? Uh, doing well. Yeah, this week we're home. It's the home opener this Saturday as Jiree Nation will converge on Jiree Field. Love to play at home and this is your first chance this season. Yeah, no, for sure. It's a long time coming. That's uh, about as late as we've ever gone for our first home game. Uh, appreciate everyone's patience. Now let's show up. People are going to notice a lot of different things when they arrive at Jirene Field this year. Most noticeably, the new video board behind us. But there's other things going on. There's a new traffic pattern. <laughs> there's a new way to get into the stadium this year. Kelleher Road will be closed. We want everybody to enter from the north side, come down Owens. That's where all the tailgate is going to be. That is where the booster club will be. Uh, changes are good, right, Coach? That means we're growing. <laughs> no, for sure. Obviously, uh, we've... Uh, far outstripped the capacity of the of the stands and we just need to accommodate is also a, a superior standard cigars they're going to have a cigar lounge it's going to be over by st hands it's it's happening and it's going to be a lot of fun so join us this saturday night seven o'clock kickoff right here at gyrene field the opponent Fort Lauderdale. Uh, it's a young program that's still trying to feel their way through and, and play some football, aren't they? Well, I think that any time you're playing ball, but uh, certainly uh, this weekend, it's it's really about us. It's not about the opponent. Uh, we need to play in a way that uh, we need to play, right? And not just for this week, but for the last week of the season. So it's time to play some gyrene ball. Uh, practice this week, what, what gyrene ball, you'll focus on any particular things, things you're going to be working on to get ready for Saturday night? Now, at this point in the season, uh, we're only two games into it, so we're working on everything. All right, let's hear from some of the players as they get ready for the home opener against Fort Lauderdale. We just, like, go out and do what we do, you know, like – play to our strengths, play at our level. We still haven't like reached our full potential. We just go out there and execute our plays and I think we're gonna win. Uh, yeah, we know they're a pretty pass heavy team. Uh, they're a fairly new team. So, um, you know, we got we know they got some athletes. So we're definitely not taking them lightly. The whole defense has played together for like two or three years. Everyone knows each other. And I think that like being together, we know like this guy right here has that assignment. We know he'll be there to do his good, job. Good, it's good. been about two years since I've played in uh, under the home crowd. So, you know, it's great to be back. I feel like the atmosphere is going to be great. And, you know, I just feed off the, those type of atmospheres. So I think it's going to be a great uh, experience for me. I mean, it just fuels us. I mean, 2,000 people screaming, yelling, cheering for the Jirenes. I mean, what can you love about that? I think the crowd, we feed off of them. And I think we play better when we're here. So I think it'll be a good game. So, as always, the guys are ready, but, you know, we, we have to look back a little bit to Texas. What a powerful performance by young Brian Stemke and the entire team. I thought it was a complete team victory, didn't you? Uh, it, it was great. I think certainly offense did well, defense did well, uh, really good on third down. I thought we controlled the ball. But, yeah, Brian Stemke uh, ran for 264 and caught another 66, so 330 all-purpose yards. Uh, the rushing and the all-purpose uh, clear, clearly new standards for Ave. Yeah, and he said going in, everything's big in Texas and the running game's going to be huge. <laughs> that was his quote, and he, he was right. Well, I, I think that what we saw was just great physicality uh, from him, but from the offensive line, they played with just uh, tremendous energy. And then our defensive line and our full defense just flying around. We always try to be fast physical and fundamentally sound, and, and we were. Yeah. Uh, Brian Simpke, he was a hard guy to get to Saturday night. And you know what? The other day at practice, I was trying to just do an interview with, interview with him, and that was hard to do. 264 last week. A lot of credit goes to Stemke, but these guys up front, I'm trying to, I, hey, I want to talk to him. Let me let me get to him if I can. I got to get to him. Can I talk to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys did a great yep, job. Yep. Nice job last appreciate week. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you. But it's all him right here. It's all number 20. Uh, it's not all him. It's not all me. But these guys, man, there's something. Let me, let me tell you something about this offensive line. I've seen them work their butts off to just get better, and they're dogs in the classroom, dogs on the field. And I'm just so proud of them. I want to thank them personally. That was exhausting watching what you did last week. Can you put it back in the you know tank and do it again? Absolutely. You know, even better this next week. You know, got a point number three coming up, and I feel like if we pour our hearts out once again, it's gonna be an even better outcome. Good to be home again. Absolutely. First home game of the season. We got a shot for the fans, so make sure you guys come out. <laughs> so a lot of fun with the offensive line. Good guys up front, aren't they? Yeah, indeed. And we should note this last week, 
They actually gave up no sacks. Oh, That's wow. also pretty impressive. The trip to Texas, a uh, lot of fun. I know you went to the Alamo, among other things. <laughs> it was it was a great trip, uh, made, of course, uh, particularly special by the win. But even independent of that first time to Texas for a good number of the players, uh, we stayed on the Riverwalk right there in San Antonio, so that was that was beautiful. They had a lot of quality time together there. Uh, you mentioned the Alamo, uh, but we also had some great barbecue. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, down in Texas, these guys partake in the barbecue. And for a football team in particular, uh, healthy portions of barbecue oh, yeah. was, uh, was appreciated. But then game day, too, was special. Uh, we had a priest come before the game to bless in the team and pray with the team. And then, then after the game, uh, the sisters, uh, Dominican sisters of the Eucharist, paid us a visit. Uh, just tremendous joy uh, uh, from them. And they had a great message for our players after the game. They they sang for the players. Just just absolutely beautiful all the way around. That, in a nutshell, is what Ave Maria football is all about. That kind of experience for these student athletes. No, and uh, certainly we take it as a, a commission to be ambassadors for the program. And I thought our team did a very good job of that. All right. Well, we're just getting started on this week's edition of Jiree Nation. When we come back, we're going to take a closer look at new assistant coach Willie Tillman and Cooper Huskies' plays of the week as Jiree Nation continues. Boom! At Ave Maria, more is an invitation and a promise to live in a community with more finds, more friends, more waves more smiles. Add to that an array of home designs from four renowned builders starting in the 200s. So come live with more connection at the home to more. Ave Maria, a big kind of small town. There's the free kick off the wall that Jarian's built and bouncing. Schweitzer pun punches it over the net. It will be a corner for the fire, but that was a hard to judge ball. So good reflexes from Schweitzer, who just punches that ball out of harm's way and over the top of the net. Now the next thing they need to do is they just need to do something with it. This is what I talked about back in the first match as we see a shot go in and it's in. Ave Maria take a 1-0 lead, and they open the scoring here in the 18th minute. Boom! Big hit from number 18, Ali Maulinski. Gets up to serve, and it gets down. Out, ace for the Jirees. And that's your ball game, folks. Jireen win three sets to zero. Leggy shotgun, takes the snap, gives the Steinke again, going right. He's got blockers in front of him. He takes across the 30, across the 40 to the 50, inside the 40, and he's forced out of bounds along the far sideline at the Bulldog 33-yard line. Leggy, Leggy claps his hands, gets the snap, gives the Steinke, trying to go around the left end, turns the corner, takes it down the far sideline. Is he into the end zone? Believe he is, touchdown, Ave Maria. Welcome back to Jiree Nation, the plays of the week. A lot of, a lot of good victories this last week. Indeed, no, uh, Ave Nation, Jiree Nation, rolling. Yeah, sure is. Saturday schedule, uh, there's a men's soccer game here on Jiree Field at one o'clock. Women's volleyball is at two o'clock. Then of course, the home opener with the football gyrenes at seven o'clock. Right now, we're gonna take a little break from just uh, talking the whole team and kind of take a closer look at one of your new assistant coaches. Uh, Willie Tillman uh, does more than just just coach football. Yeah, no, he comes to Ave with such tremendous experience at so many different levels and former head coach, so he gets the whole picture. He's our director of football operations and you really feel that when we travel, just. We're traveling first class as far as how it's organized and so uh, just he's been a great energy boost uh, he, he brings it every day every practice yeah so let's open the coaches connection Willie Tillman hi I'm Willie Tillman I'm the linebacker coach and also the director of football operations 
started my career at Purdue University as a player, then started there as a coach as well. Um, they had a stop at um, Florida a and University, uh, Florida Tech here in, in Melbourne when they had a program there. Um, was a head coach at Trinity uh, International University before I got here, and that kind of led me here uh, leaving Trinity. Uh, wanted a faith-based school, wanted to be back in Florida, um, so Ali was a perfect place for me and my family. Christ is first in my life, and I want to be around those like people. Uh, and then to be able to coach football with those like people uh, is just a win-win situation. Well, I picked up uh, pickleball this summer. So I uh, love playing pickleball. Uh, I'm also a big music guy, so I love listening to music and, and trying to you know cut a rug a little bit, try to dance a little bit when I can. What's for dinner? We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go black eyed peas, collard greens, uh, mac my mom's macaroni and cheese. Uh, then we're gonna go some barbecue. Um, uh, you know, some some brisket. Um, so a little soul food with a, with a little you know barbecue type style, picnic type style, cookout type style food as well. It's a blessing to be here. Uh, just want to say thank you to the Ave Maria. Uh, community, accepting me and my family. Uh, Coach Patterson giving me and my family this opportunity. Uh, and I, I just love being here and love, love working with the guys. Coming up on Jiree Nation, we'll take a closer look at the women's golf team and we'll have the football keys to victory. But first, who said that? A Marine is never intimidated. Batman. SpongeBob. Hi, Mom. Rap's gonna be boy Thor. I'm going Superman. Flash. <laughs> Thor. Oh. Oh. I got mine. Uh, Batman. I'm Batman. Batman. SpongeBob, easily. Thor. What you say? Hey, Frozone, Frozone. Incredible Hulk. Hey, Frozone, Frozone. Hey, Black Panther. Yeah. What do you say? Spider Man. The Hulk. Favorite cartoon Avatar The Last Airbender. Favorite superhero Spider Man. Cartoon Phineas and Ferb. Uh, superhero Hulk. The Hulk, yeah. Favorite superhero, Deadpool. Favorite cartoon, Jake the Dog. I'm Batman. Spider-Man and Peter Griffin. Tom and Jerry. Uh, Johnny Tess, man. I'm going to go Superman all the way. SpongeBob and Spider-Man. Eric Cartman. Hey, Bugs Bunny, Superman. Naruto Uzumaki. Stewie Griffin and Deadpool. My favorite cartoon character is Doc McStuffins, the goat. Jack Jack from The Incredibles. <laughs> My favorite superhero is Michael McGrath. Batman. Spider Man. Flash. Black Panther. <laughs> the Homelander. Timmy! <laughs> Timmy! I like Spider Man. <laughs> Hey, this is Junior Lozano, owner of Lozano's Mexican restaurant in Ave Maria. Uh, we want to welcome you guys coming to Lozano's, the best uh, authentic Mexican food, Tex-Mex style. And we have the best drinks and margaritas in town. Welcome to Tropic Smoothie, uh, where students love to come and gather and uh, have a good time. We are proud sponsors of the University uh, Athletics Program for a long time. Uh, come in and see us. Hi, I'm Alan with Agility Physical Therapy and Sports Performance. Our team is very blessed and excited to be partnered with Ave Marie University Athletics. We provide strength and conditioning and sport performance programming for many AMU teams. Ave on three, Ave on three, one, two, three. Ave! Check us out at improvemyagility.com. Welcome back to Jiree Nation. Time for a little Ave Women's Golf. Under the direction of Coach Cato Sullivan, the Jirenes opened the fall season in style. 
setting team records for both the 18 and 36 hole rounds. First day they did well and then the second day they did even better. So uh, it's a work in progress and I think that's just an area that we'll continue to grow in because every single one of these players are, are very capable and very gifted and it's just um, taking that out on the golf course and uh, translating it to like an under pressure situation. Going out here I just gave it on my all. I said Jesus take take the wheel and I shot 77 my first time so and it was actually on my grandma's first birthday in heaven so that was very special too. A little extra help? Yes very much help but yes. When you know you have five girls who can can go play there's no reason to not be confident you know we show up to the tee and we're there and we're, we're playing and we're playing for first now, which is great. It's not just about the fairways and finesse, but faith is what drives this team. So the study group is on Thursdays. We're studying St. Therese and what I have gotten out of it is just how to love yourself, how to love your neighbors, how to love God even more. And the confidence boost that I've had from that and from reading the book has just been incredible. I think St. Therese, is, she puts it in a really simple way and just knowing that you know team equals community and community really is something that is life-giving to anyone so just encouraging them to to be as a team and just sort of grow as people on and off the golf course. Ave rides came from the need that Ave Maria is lacking transportation in and out. I know that it's a big need that needs to be filled and I decided to take that in my own hand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Subban Hunt, founder and CEO of Ave Rides. If you want to come see the Jaguars play on this beautiful field, if you need a ride from the airport or to the airport, I'm your man. Give me a call at 703-307-7781. Ave Maria, let's ride. I'm Matt Williams, this is my wife Danae Williams. We're the owners of Oil Wall Craft Beer out here at beautiful Ave Maria. Come on out and see us. Who said that? A Marine is never intimidated. None other than our founder, Tom Monahan. Welcome back to Jiren Nation. That's, I can see that from Mr. Monahan, can't you? Uh, no doubt, I think that's why he picked Jiren as his nickname. Yeah, and this week we're gonna salute the military and the first responders. Get here early because we're gonna have a special celebration, a special salute to the military and the first responders. Love to, to have these guys around us, don't you? Oh, it's just essential to our lives. Yeah, they, they do so much, and that celebration is going to start just after 6.30, so make sure you get to the field early so you can enjoy and help us salute them. Now, it's the Gyrenes against Fort Lauderdale coach, keys to victory. Keep it simple. Fast, physical, fundamentally sound. Simple as that. And those are the things that you feel like your team can do. We must do. Yep. Uh, a lot going on. Seven o'clock is the kick. Uh, your team is ready, right? Ready to roll. We are ready. All right. So come see the game. It's our home opener. We're excited to see you there, and we're so happy that you watch Jiree Nation. Coach, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time next week.